or some disease. Look at this. It turns out this type of fat um, might actually have some good qualities and be good for you. Well, there's some studies down in Europe and the U.S. say that not only is there no link between saturated fat and heart disease, but that saturated fat is essential for healthy biological functions. Well, the news is a complete new turn from earlier research to help us make sense of it all. We speak to Professor Philippe Legrand, Chairman of Fat Guidelines for the French Food and Drug Administration. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Professor Legrand, maybe you can help us understand first. When we talk about saturated fat, uh, what exactly do we... How do we define saturated fat? So, saturated fat uh, is the most simple uh, fat that the nature provides us from plants, microorganisms, animals, and it usually uh, serves as a fuel for energy. Okay, now... As compared to polyunsaturated fats, who, which have more interesting functions uh, and uh, specifically useful for brain and, and Okay. So what new information are we getting to change our understanding of saturated fats? Okay, uh, for uh, decades, saturated fat has been considered as an homogeneous, deleterious group, but this is over because uh, first, some of them are not deleterious at all, all have interesting functions, the only uh, problem is which saturated fats and which amount but we have to move from the consideration bad or good. That's never really the case in nutrition, even if in history uh, this kind of dogma uh, okay. appeared for a lot of nutrients. I mean, we tend to say fat in general is bad. You know, no, I mean, that's, but, that's, but that's not true. But you're saying, yeah. you're saying that there are good fats. And you're saying which are saturated fats? So, so which are the good fats? So the, the best fats are polyunsaturated, okay? okay? But in the subgroup of saturated fats, some uh, all have functions as a biochemical point of view for cell life, like uh, helping membranes, components of different uh, parts of the cell for functioning. And some are, in addition, uh, no deleterious at all, that's short and middle chain, we can find in coconut or in dairy products, for instance. But some could be deleterious, not by themselves, they are not bad guys, but in case of excess. And so right. the question is, which is the dose and what is the excess of which saturated fats? That's a, a, new, a, a new approach, okay. because a lot of data appeared since uh, 40 years where they were considered okay. cut. So previously the data said to us, you should just cut down on fats. Yeah. Completely, but now what you're saying is you need to choose the right fats and in the right amounts. Yes, that's it. Okay, so which fats should we be going for and in what amounts are healthy? Okay, which saturated fat or saturated which fat is fats. Fats. So, uh, short and middle, cha middle, middle chain are okay. And for instance, what are short and middle chain? Short fats? and middle chain is uh, is some of saturated is some of saturated fats found in dairy and in coconut, for instance, C, C, H, C, ten of the molecule. And the one we should be uh, cautious on uh, for excess is mostly palmitic acid because it's over where in the nature. It's not a bad guy, but we accumulate, accumulate, accumulate because plants uh, do it, animals do it, we, we make it. And so the problem is just its excess. So you have to choose uh, uh, sources like uh, coconut is better than palm oil because in coconut, middle chain are present and palmitic is not very uh, concentrated. Okay. And so, but no food is bad, just try to, to build a balanced diet uh, with not too much of uh, well, the uh, ones. I'm going to put you in the spot and ask you to give us specific examples of certain foods that would have some of these fats that you're talking about. Because when you tell us a medium long chain, uh, most of us, I won't know if I see okay. something. So what, what, are some of the, yeah, what are some of the other foods that would have, and tell us why they're good or bad. In saturates. In saturated fats. Uh, so the, the worst is palm oil, because it's made of palmitic, palmitic, and palmitic. And in other sources, uh, in other saturated fatty acid sources, dairy products are okay, provided you don't eat too much. And coconut, uh, we do not use a lot in Europe, but it's uh, one product you, you like here in your heritage and culture. And culture. It's not that bad, it's not bad in fact, because there is not a lot of palmitic acid inside, and then the load of total saturates is quite high, so you have to manage 
the good amount. Can I ask you that? Not to, uh, to eliminate it at all. It's a nonsense. So, so I, I, I want to know this one. So, if I'm having a, a piece of steak, a, a sirloin steak or something, it's got a layer of fat on the top. I mean, what kind of fat is that actually? Saturated fat, Saturated as fat. a part also. And uh, it depends also what the, the crew has eaten. <laughs> yes. Yes. Of course. Of course. But you, you, can, you, can, you can compare the fat of sirloin with palm oil that just uh, fuel and uh, protective. Uh, right. Uh, so. So this but coconut and dairy are better in terms of saturates. Okay. Right. So this notion that um, saturated fats lead to high cholesterol, you're saying this isn't the case? So uh, again, it was an uh, overemphasized uh, approach because the group of saturates is not homogeneous and some of them are hypercholesterolemic and okay. some of them are not. Okay, so there are some saturated fats that do yes. lead to high cholesterol yes. in our bodies, but we have to look specifically at each different fat yes. and analyze them differently. Yes, and even the ones who are increasing cholesterol, they do not increase cholesterol at lower dose and the right dose is not and never the lowest. Okay. okay. So in other words... Otherwise, people will uh, will eat carbohydrates and it right, will be worse. Right. So okay. just the cursor at the right place. Okay. So as okay. Rose is saying, moderation is the key. Don't yes. avoid fat altogether. Some yes. fat is good for you. We all need some yes. fat. But I guess too eat much Eat everything fat. in small amounts. My grandma told me that. Yeah. <laughs> she was not professor of nutrition. <laughs> That's right, but she's got it right. I mean, if it's more... Thank you so much for coming in this morning, Professor Philippe Legrand from the Agronomic University of Rennes, of France, uh, debunking popular belief that saturated fat is a bad for yeah, health. Yeah, we just think fat in general is bad, but everything in moderation. I mean, you have too much, uh, too much food, and nothing else is also bad for you. Yeah. You know, so everything in moderation. I think the key is instead of uh, eating less fat, is to yeah. eat the right fat. That's the important thing. So you can eat fat. <laughs> <laughs> Still ahead on the end line. We're going to take on, but we'll come back and talk about a new stage comedy. It's all about the hunt for uh, Mr. Rich. Uh, we'll get